I, mean, I literally remember to this day my first client. Uh, his name was Mark, and I remember I was like, I called him the night before because I was I don't do this really much anymore. But like, hey Mark, first he's like he's like super old. He was like 65 and stuff. I was like, hey, he was like I was like, oh my god, he's probably like, who the hell is this guy calling me? Um, I was like, hey Mark, this is Malik. I'm gonna be your personal trainer tomorrow. You know, so like, dude, it's too super normal to feel like that. Um, there's f there's four levels to personal training in, in my opinion and what I've been learning is do no harm is basically how I started off PE you know in school like they do no harm uh, you know my walk program you know is do no harm you know everyone can walk um, it's not you know it's, it's basically like the the fur if you're trying to train anyone you know do no harm is basically the number one thing um, number two is issues and qualities so this level, issues and qualities, will be like, all right, does he have any issues? Does he have knee pain? Does he have shoulder pain? Like, right, like this is the next level. First one's like, do no harm. Like, yo, like you just need to work out. You just need to walk. You just need to, second one's like, all right, this guy's shoulder injury. So maybe we are a knee problem. Maybe we do, you know, not super crazy knee stuff. But like with our workout, we might start with a lot of glute stretching because his glutes are weak and that's why his, Hamstrings are tight, and that's why it's pulling on his knee. Qualities and qualities are pretty much like goals. Like, is is is, is he trying to do fat loss? Is he trying to muscle gain? Which are the two basically main ones? Um, you know, what's his quality? Because those are going to be dependent on the workout as well. Um, level three is kind of like uh, I I wrote it down as yin and yang, yin and yang. So this is where you're kind of doing his you know the quality stuff you're you're going on a program right he, he's he's like he wants to build muscle especially in his upper body or he wants to lose fat especially in his gut um and then but he's been doing it for a little bit and now you want to yin and yang so you want to add a little bit like one new thing or do you know his goal do you know his main goal fat loss yep so so he he's a level two issues and qualities but so, but still write this down. So, so level three, yin yang, and then level four is absolute performance. So this is when someone comes up to you is like, Steven, like I want to be better at golf, right? I want to be better at tennis or basketball. Like the basketball workouts, it's specific. Like I'm not going to have a basketball player benching all the time because that's going to mess his shot up. But if it's a football guy, we're benching. So that's absolute performance, but like, you know, a mom isn't going to, you know, she's not going to want absolute performance. She just wants to lose 20 pounds, you know? Yeah, it's level, exactly. So you say, you got it, you got it. That's level two. So find out where he's at, put him in one of those levels. He's probably level two. Um, but those four are basically like, you know, level one, you could train so many of those people because like, it's basically just having people do something with no harm, you know, big groups. Number three, level three is like you could train like 50 to 100 you know, level three is like 12 to 24 private clients because you can't, the more levels you go down, the more attention. And like level four is like, I got one kid who's just trying to get better at football or like one to five, five max. You know, if, you, if you're going to do a class, yeah, because you can't train, you know, 500 football guys who's trying to get, you know what I mean? You can, Yeah, so that's that, that's the levels I'm kind of like messing with and putting people into when, when they kind of ask me like, all right, I want to lose weight. 90 or like 80 percent of people we we're gonna deal with level two you know level two so i would figure out that which again you, you you already know so now he wants fat loss i would figure i'll go in there and like the first thing i would do is give a give him a baseline test be like hey this is our first day i don't want to you know the, the the number one thing that most trainers do will they'll, they'll kill their client on the first day and then they won't see him again I'm not going back to someone who's I'm fucking sore. Like, why the hell am I? I'm, I, I can't fucking shit. Like, I can't sit on the toilet, you know? Like, it's dead. Like, it happens to me all. Dude, and the, this one, it happened to me so much in the beginning of my training. Like, I was like, why isn't anyone coming back? And I feel like I would give them a good workout. And I was. I was giving them too good of a workout. They weren't ready for it. Yeah, you know, and it scared them off. So give them something he's going to want more of. Right, so you give him a baseline test, which is like a competitive male thing. Is he a guy or a girl guy? So, bro, Fernando, he he probably got some testosterone going, especially like he wants his you know younger years back. So you gotta give him a baseline test and be like, yo, like you did this many push-ups in a minute, right? 
this many push-ups in a minute. I would do a plank. I'm not a huge fan of sit-ups. The reason for that is because they've done studies of like how to throw out your lower back. You you but you bend the lumbar spine enough times you throw it out during sit-ups. That's all you're doing is bending the lumbar spine. I don't even do sit-ups anymore. Um, I'll sometimes do like a crunch, like where I have a weight or no weight, and I'll try to lift my shoulders off the ground a little bit to the ceiling and come back down. But I'll never do a full sit-up anymore. Yeah, those I do. And I do them like quick because the abs, which people don't know, is a fast twitch muscle. So I'll do like 10 of them, 12 of them, but I won't do like 50 of them. Yeah. So the fast twitch muscles are the glutes, the abs, and the shoulder. And those are what you got to do, you know, the snatch, right? It's fast twitch. Glutes, like the kettlebell swing. You're not doing 50 to 100 reps. You're doing 10. 12, like a high rep, the deadlift, like just high, high weight or intensities, but not a lot of reps because those are fast twitch muscles, you know? Um, so for the abs, I would do something like a plank. If you're, if you're gonna do something long, see how long you can hold a plank for. Number one, then push-ups, how many push-ups, full push-ups, chest to the ground in one minute. If he has to go to his test, has to touch the ground. It, it, I would recommend Starting off your training because you're a fucking you're a pure right now. You're pure You're pure man, and this is like the loveliest part when you start training. So when you start Make sure everyone does and this is something I, I like thank God of my last strength and conditioning coach I learned everything he he did a no BS weight room So we might not have had the highest numbers in terms of like squatting or deadlift or bench press of the other schools but it's because we didn't we didn't Give him the the 500 pound the 500 pound squat if he didn't go 90, he has to go at least 90. If it doesn't, it doesn't count. If he didn't touch his chest to the bench press, if he didn't go all the way down, it didn't count. So I recommend starting off with that. It's just like chest to the ground. If you don't do chest to the ground, it's not a push up. You're hurt. You're hurting him by allowing him to do a not real push up. And if he says like, oh, like this is how I always did it, be like, I understand. And I I know how it, I know that if you know, I know that you're used to this, but I'm telling you that I'm going to I'm only telling you this because I know what I'm talking about and I'm trying to benefit you in the future. I'm trying to help you age well. I'm trying to help you live longer and feel better as you age. You don't want tight shoulders or uh, you don't want a tight chest and have a hunchback when you're older. You know? Exactly. Making the aging process graceful because that's exactly what people really want and everything else is secondary. So so that's number one. I'll do a baseline test, push-ups, plank, everything good form. And then if for legs wise, I would I mean I would do a wall sit if you could do a wall, like just see how long you can hold the wall sit, 90 degrees, hands out in front of him, not on his legs. Um, those three right there will F him up. If you have a pull-up bar machine, I'll do a pull-up bar. Like how many pull-ups can you do? Max, it doesn't have to be time, just how many pull-ups can you do? And uh, cardio, so this you could do yourself. If you have a weighted, if you have a weighted jump rope, you could do like, you know, how, how like, you know, do a weighted, um, do it for a minute or three minutes of the weighted, like just go for three, you know, three minutes is like a long time if someone's not in shape, one minute was good, but if he's like kind of in shape, do three minutes. And then right when he's done, test his pulse. So how, how, how you test the pulse is just touching, uh, like right by your hand, your wrist, yep. Ex the neck, time it for 30 seconds, one, and then be like, so you'll time it, you'll go 30 seconds, go. He'll count, and then you'll go, all right, 30 seconds up, what did you get? He'll give you a number, double it, and then that's his heartbeats per minute. Wait a minute. Test it again, so you know his recovery time. And then you can retest his recovery time, because that's true athleticism, is how fast can you recover. And that's what I'll do the first workout. And that's what I'll do, and then like after that, he'll text you later that night, like, bro, I feel fucking sore already, and you'll be like, drink water. You know, drink water, you know, eat your vegetables, because there's a lot of water and fiber in there, and just like fucking pound down water. That's literally most people's problem.
Yep. Dehydration. So that's that's day one, baby. And then again, you can call me the day before, a couple days before, the day right after it. Um, tell me how it went. And then like if you need help on day two, like tell me like, all right, this is what happened. Like what, what do I do now? Like dude, I'm I'm here for you, bro. You know that.